play. Alrighty. As I said, Salty Fun will be joining me probably mid-match very shortly. For now, opening up on Kalos. Some tournaments uh, do run this at a, as a starter. It, it looks like Encore is one of them. For those of, at, those, those of you at home who are confused, like, what? Kalos this early? And whoa, killing this early. Okay, Ling Ling. Uh, both players, whoever comes out victorious is actually, they're hanging on to tournament life right here. So uh, I guess whoever's in a carpool, make sure you don't knock out your carpoolie. Then you have to pay the gas money. But uh, actually, both players, they're coming from opposite sides of the Tri-State. I believe Zenkai is New Jersey. Ling Ling's Connecticut. Alrighty. One thing I could see, um, let's say Zenkai's in a situation where he wants to mix up his recovery. He does have a wall jump he could utilize on Kalos. It's just you got to be careful with turnips. Ling Ling almost getting the forward air out there again. Seems to have a very commanding lead. Reflecting the Mr. Saturn into the fair, but the big walls of Kalos are not going to do the job for him. And the Shadow Ball is going to do the trick right on top of the Pokeball he lands. That's right, if you didn't notice the center, Kalos is uh, actually the sixth generation of Pokemon. The center of the stage is the shape of a Pokeball, for those that didn't notice it. Very nice down tilt. 153. Not really often that you get to see Mewtwo utilizing Rage, but right there we see it. And now this could be anybody's stock. Okay. Very nice neutral air. Get up first Senkai on out of there. I do think, though, since Ling Ling took the early lead, that Senkai has done a really good job finding his footing. But as I say that, he eats 74 off a very beautiful string. Great tech on reaction. Also, welcome back, Salty Fun. Howdy, y'all. All right, so Zenkai versus Ling Ling. Fill me up on what I missed. Yeah, so what you missed was actually Ling Ling within the first five seconds of the match got a crazy combo, killed Zenkai immediately, and since then, Zenkai's kind of been trailing from behind. But it feels like had that first stock never happened, Zenkai would, like have, Zenkai would have the craziest yeah. lead right now if that first stock never happened. Mm. But, uh, yeah, Ling Ling kind of just... Held his lead right there. Didn't even let him touch him the last stock. I think in the second stock, the first and second stock that Ling Ling had were pretty much Zenkai's command for the most part. All right, we're going straight to counterpicking on to uh, Town and City. Interesting to go here. I guess wants a little bit more of a... F I, I, usually when I see people go Town and City, it's because like FD and Council Band. Mm. You know, it's that sort of middle ground where it has platforms, but if you're looking for an FD variant, right. it definitely does the job. Yep. That's something I've been saying for a while, actually, is this is a great stage to go if you can't uh, go up to FD and it's available. Because as you said, the small blast zones, too. You know, having FD with smaller blast zones is like, wow, that really helps a lot of characters. <laughs> well, the ceiling is taller, I believe. The ceiling is taller, but the side blast zones are smaller. Compared to most. Now, stages. how has Zenkai been killing? Has he been killing like off the side with forward airs, or has he been killing off the top? He's been getting those fairs. Okay, so then that fair and I, I think there was a shadow ball kill. All right, I like the Zenkai going off stage, being very kind of zealous about it too. But uh, Ling Ling has stall options, and that means that if he's going for uh, you know jumping off stage quickly. All Ling Ling has to do is wait him out, and then he's forced to recover, and that leaves an opening for Ling Ling to get back. Dude, Zenkai's movement is actually very, very smooth. I notice he's got these Shadow Ball cancels to kind of, like, mix up his movement and trick his opponent into thinking he's going to be somewhere else. Definitely working very well for him. Both players kind of going back and forth on who's winning neutral. And the back throw is going to do it. Peach a little bit on the lighter side. And that back throw is very strong. Again, those side blast zones are small, so that's going to work. I'm pretty sure up throw also would have killed, but he opted for back throw. Mm -hmm. Maybe keep up throw fresh. Up throw is actually much weaker in this game. So, oh, is it? So at a percent like 130, 140, it might not kill on Town and City, actually. Compared to Smash 4. <laughs> wow, that was... <laughs> Did you see his expression? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the most we take those expressions I've ever seen that in was, bracket. That was a big shrug emoji. <laughs> But yeah, the, the back throw is definitely the smarter option. TLDR. 
Dash attack, also a smart option. Peach, she's been able to kill with that move for a few games now. <laughs> now, I think it's worth sort of illustrating what happened right before this. Wow, great job. Managed to DI behind him, meaning that he didn't eat a fair at the end of all that. And as a result, he gets that stock first. You know what I like about that up smash? You see stars in it, the galaxy, and he sends them straight up to that zone. <laughs> <laughs> Up to the stars, it's, uh, baby. It's actually me to expanding his galaxy brain or into that. the corporeal realm. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zenkai being very expressive right now. You know, sort of like, if you look at the two of them, and maybe I'm just noticing because, you know, both these players are right next to me. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Ling Ling is careful. Well, you, you, know, can, he's, you can he's, see it in the, the player cam. Oh, yeah, you can see, see it, <laughs> but you don't understand the range of motion <laughs> right. like we do. <laughs> right, right. He's freaking like, like, he's an animatronic with, like, seven joints. Oh, my God. Again, he's using those Shadow Ball cancels to try and trip up Ling Ling's momentum, but Ling Ling timing the air dodges really <gasps> well. Did I actually haven't seen Disable hit, like, once. He hasn't really got an opportunity Ooh. to use it. Predicting the roll-in, yeah, but up smash that. not as big as it used to be. All right, now this is actually super close. Either one of these guys could take that next. Dash attack, is that going to be enough? It's not actually. Ling Ling hanging on by the tiniest of threads. But that Shadow Ball, there's no way he's living that one. <laughs> he's, uh... I don't remember him going for dash attacks that missed. I don't know what. He's I think he's asking. talking about like the thing with the turnip for. Oh, the thing, the thing with the turnip. Said that stupid ban that buff dash attack. Right, yeah, look at this guy. I mean, buff Mewtwo's dash attack. Wow, that's already a strong move. I'm with you though. Okay. <laughs> by the way, by the way, so in case you guys don't know, this is a strategy. <laughs> That once you win the game, you talk to the commentators on the couch to psych your opponent out. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Honestly, Ling Ling is so stoic, I don't think he'd be affected by any opponent's shenanigans. And if he is affected by it, he's doing a great job not showing it. <laughs> and if he is affected by it, it's his own fault. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, Ling Ling, he's honestly, what, a, what an inspiring competitor. He's always in the oh, zone. Yeah. He pulls off such great combos. And not only that, he's stuck to Peach for so long, years at this point. Um, and he's always stayed that true blue color. You know, they Super. offer Daisy as an option. And he's like, nah. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I didn't play Peach for 17 years to stop <laughs> playing Daisy. <things. laughs> That's what Ling Ling sounds like, by the way. That's his yeah. exact voice. Though. <laughs> he sounds like the grumpy guy from Futurama. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you you can't prove me wrong. <laughs> Definitely can't. Unless he wins and we have to do an intro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ling Ling really uh, hitting the mark with these neutral airs right here. I, I really like how he's utilized these all day. He's put on a great example of how neutral air can be used from the front and back hit. A kill option, a space away option on the weak hit. And the phone right there is going to take the first stock. Zenkai with the lead on Ling Ling's counter pick, actually running it back to where they started game one. Yeah, no DSR oh. for those wondering. That forward through not quite enough to do it yet, even with some maybe suspect DI. But one love tap from Pete should be enough. Dash attack. That's actually not it. With no rage, that move doesn't quite scale just as well. And now. Ooh, he needs to find another dash attack possibly, and he needs to not take a huge damage in the combo. All right. Wow. Ling Ling only taking 32%, but that guy was at 174 before he got hit to die. So that'll just show you, even a light character like Mewtwo, he did get his weight buffed through patches in this game. He's the same weight as Pikachu now, but he still is on the lighter side, so to be living at 174, good stuff. Well, it's also one of those interesting things where you know, uh, the rich get richer. When you have a lead, you know, when the opponent has to take the stock and you, you know, just have to get damage, it becomes harder for them to kill you because mm -hmm. they specifically have to fish the for kill moves where you don't, you know? Yeah. Uh, so Smash is an unfair game. <laughs> uh, only the top 1% of players <laughs> get to have keep their lead. Honestly. I promise. To have ridiculous comeback mechanics. Ooh, I really like the way Ling Ling was kind of hugging in front of the ledge to stop Zankai from getting there. Even catching the teleport. Teleport's hard to catch. Deceptively tough. All 
Right. Ling Ling doing a good job chasing him, Stitch. trying to charge. Never mind. <gasps> Crazy. Yes, I was right. Ha -ha. You were right. And now lapping him in percent in seemingly seconds. Oh, he was reading the roll in, but he catches him with the smash attack. Anyway, Kalo's too big for that to work out. All right. If Senkai takes this stock right now, it's, you know, he, he can absolutely still win. But, okay, here's where things get grimmer and grimmer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good use of the teleports. Wow, almost. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see at the end there, he was, like, fishing for that forward air. He's just sort of throwing it out. Yeah. And Ling Ling was like, I've got you exactly where I want you now. I've noticed a few things about... Um, I'm sorry. I've got you exactly where I want you. That's his voice. That's <laughs> right, his right, right. Voice. That's right, that's right. Make sure you do that every time we imitate him. <laughs> <laughs> related to Danny DeVito. <laughs> no, but there's one thing I noticed about Ling Ling is... <laughs> Look at you trying to an, talk an about the match. In advantage. <laughs> when, when he has an advantage, he actually starts to play even more uh, passive-aggressive. Like, he's not solely just waiting for his opening. Just leaving notes on but the fridge. He's, he's throwing baits out, and he's like, oh, come and get me if you can, sucker. And, uh, yeah, Zenkai kind of was throwing some panic options, trying to reset and charge Shadow Ball in situations where it didn't right. make sense to. This time FD was actually not banned, and so we're going to be having that for game four. What do you think of this pick? Well, think By pick. Zenkai. Hmm. Well, one of the, so in general with FD, what I always say, it makes weaknesses and strengths just extremifies that, you know? Characters who struggle to land, characters who are good at juggling, characters who struggle to get off the ledge, characters who are good at ledge trapping, it, characters with good neutrals, you know, it, it just makes things more and more just apparent when you don't have platforms. Uh, and on the one hand, it depends on what you're confident about. If, for instance, if Zenkai is confident about his neutral, he would go here because this stage is more neutral than any other. If he's confident about his juggle game, that might be the reason he went here. Uh, I will say, though, the juggle game probably has been working out for Ling Ling more so than him. All right, Zenkai thrown out an early down smash before Ling Ling showed his get-up option, and then Ling Ling punishing with the aerial, but now Zenkai getting one of his own, giving himself a pat on the shoulder. <laughs> he is very expressive, wow. Listen, you gotta be your own coach in Smash. That they don't true. let coaches come in and massage your shoulders like they used to. Yeah. You gotta massage your own shoulders. Although there is one character. There are actually two characters with a coach, right? The the, the three Pokemon for Trainer. Trainer's like their coach in a way, right? Yeah. Mac. Then Mac, Mac, obviously. We all know about his coach. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, although his coach kind of gives like... Boiler... Oh my god. This We've been talking about how that disable wasn't hitting. Yeah. And then in the most clutch of moments when Zenkai really needed it, he gets a huge lead in this game four, keeping himself alive in the tournament for sure. But the question is whether he can close out this game. I'm pretty confident in that. They gave him a boost that he really needed. That was a, an especially good play because it came after a few early, early smash attack reads. I feel like he's been doing that a lot in these, like, high percent situations. I can't believe he's been, like, teleporting into Ling Ling <laughs> and getting away with it. Yeah, it's a good mix-up. Okay, <laughs> their time is getting yeah. punished. In all honesty, you, you can really, like, have a lot of fun with that move. You can use it in neutral. Oh, my God. Ling Ling finding his way to even this up. All right. All of this rage on him. <gasps> that was amazing, but keeps on to his float. He has no float anymore, which means that he has to be extra key cheeky with his recovery. He actually <laughs> nails it, but that just means he's alive. That doesn't mean he's won the game yet. Right. Did you see Ling Ling go into Helpless just to make it back, though? He put the umbrella down for a second. That was so smart. And now, although Zenkai's got a huge lead, Ling Ling's putting in those chunky pieces of his. <gasps> oh, oh, that Uppy was so smart that from was him. Very great. I think at this point, we're up throw kill. Oh, man. Zenkai, <gasps> like. Oh! Wow, the SD! After all of that, after. <laughs> oh, they're both laughing about it. Aww. That's good. We, we love good sportsmanship in this house. Ling Ling said, good game, fella. <laughs> oh, but like, I think that the Zenkai is like, you know, joking with him because he knows how close to losing the set he was right there. Just now, yeah. Honestly, yeah, whoever gets knocked out of this, this is now the... Oh, he's going to the bathroom. Wow, what a gentleman. Ling Ling letting him take the break. I mean, you're kind of a, 
a meanie if you don't. <laughs> I think he's actually, I think he's getting water. Oh, okay, okay. Hydrate or dehydrate, folks. That is another opportunity for me to say, drink water. <laughs> yeah, that was um, one thing I'm noticing, though. That's you know who didn't drink water? Who? Alexander the Great. Oh, wow. And now he's Alexander the Dead. Well, anyway. <laughs> what? Are, do you not know your, do you not know your ancient I Macedonian just, I was, history? I, I was making a point, and I just want to finish it. Not that your point wasn't very valid and true. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm at, about about <laughs> um, Alexander? No, the thing that Zenka, I think, needs to watch out for is just going for attacks too early. Like, you saw him kind of throwing out panic side Bs and smash attacks, but then, like, followed up by clutch down Bs. Like, just keep the clutch going, dude. Don't, don't turn the gears off. Obviously, easier said than done. He's, he's in the driver's seat, you know? I could keep the car The car analogies coming. <laughs> uh, oh, shifting into top gear. <laughs> Driving the car off the cliff. Look at that! <laughs> I think he just revved it up. <laughs> he's accelerating, baby. Oh, man. And uh, Ling Ling kind of getting blindsided. Yeah, what if that's also a car pun? I what think. if that break really threw off his game, his momentum? That SD, even. Who knows? Got Listen, a little bit your too opponent much time laughs with you. It. You know, maybe you make a few jokes. He's dead. Oh, he caught. The <gasps> no, he he's didn't alive! catch the jump. I was thinking, did he, he catch the Ling Ling jump? out? Yeah, he didn't use his jump. But even still, Ling Ling, uh, not taking any percent that second stock, really good way to even it up after taking the early hit. And I think that that really shows that now more than ever, these guys are beating the ever-loving just nuts out of each <laughs> yeah, other. what do you say? How do you PGify that? <laughs> like, what's the he nuts gonna, out what's of he gonna say? What's he gonna <laughs> say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you want to go for like <laughs> like actual phrases, tar. They're beating the tar out of each there other. There you go. Yeah. But uh, I prefer beating nuts the, because of the visual. Beating the nuts out of each other. I've never heard that used for two boys. I, it's never <laughs> used. I literally just named the first thing to my right. mind uh, that happened to be PG. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know if it is PG, but anyway, moving. They're on. they're they're nuts? legumes okay. or whatever. You okay, know. Anyway. <laughs> Peanuts. I gotta go. Pecan. <laughs> oh, and Ling Ling's gotta go too. Apparently, Zenkai is sending him on his ticket to the last stock of tournament, potentially. All right. Certainly the last stock of this set for him. And oh, that's a huge neutral air. I don't know if he has a jump. He does, but really not actually able to catch the two frame. This could be really big for Zenkai if he stays alive for just a little bit longer. Gets out that much more damage, but, and he stands up in his seat. We have no. a last stuck situation between these two. About 50% on Ling Ling, but honestly, that's not that much. Last game, Ling Ling was up, was down by a whole lot more. Oh God, oh, oh, that was it! No, he lives! Oh, that's not it! That's, and that's all he needs! <laughs> oh, and he gets past him! Wow. Oh, God, great. Idea going for the back air. Now they're gonna reset neutral. Here we are again. Okay, his back is oh. facing the ledge. Now he's off stage. This is a big situation for Ling Ling. Oh, and he oh, doesn't he drop the ball. <laughs> Another great recovery, but Zenkai has not been able to get back to neutral for so long. Another side B. He's at 138 off stage. He needs to get off the ledge here. He needs to make some kind of turnaround. That neutral air might be the start of it. Oh my god. That I don't know if that's it. Great out of shield Nair, but the air dodge is gonna get him back. Still has a jump. Oh. Okay, finally getting out of disadvantage with that aggressive option. Now 91%. Oh! He gets the back air. Who's gonna die he first? Zenkai takes the set in a DBZ moment. The sweet spot of the back air catches Ling.